are expecting a string, we're passing an array. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so, we should actually just be passing the email address here. Alright. Okay. So, fresh. Wow. Okay. We passed. Okay. So, this actually verifies that uh, yes, email is sent. This actually verifies that the send message was actually called. Okay. Why don't we create another user one that shouldn't be notified note that we only have an expectation for Joe okay why don't we say that and is also to be passed to the um, to be sent to the process user okay so reminder process user user Okay. And should I be sent an email because she's got a quota of 89 only. Okay, so refresh that. There you go, it fails. Because we expect joe at mango.com and we are being sent and at domain.com. So this is very strict. Make sure that the parameter that's being passed to send message is actually correct. Okay, so the key here is because process user, we just send them email. We don't uh, check if the user is actually to be notified. So what we can do is just if this user is to be notified, user, okay, and then this, make it pretty, like our code pretty. There. So the message will only be sent if the user is actually to be notified. If the user is not supposed to be notified, we don't send a message, obviously. Okay. You don't want a message saying, hey, you're over quota and you're actually using only 5% of your, <laughs> of your allowance, right? So, okay. So, we're sufficiently convinced that this works. What else needs to be done? Okay. We need to communicate with our database. Ah, uh, okay. So, you mean we need a database? I don't have a database server installed in this machine. Okay. So, that's when we make use of map objects. Okay. Let's say function test get users okay so we're testing that it actually gets a list of users okay normally um, I think you know with this kind of criteria when you're just testing for a number it's simpler to have things test in uh, uh, to, to, to just select the proper um, entries from your database right but sometimes you can't do that sometimes you have to do complex processing and figure out whether to do this task or not so uh, that's why um, uh, we are doing this test, right? Because otherwise, uh, you know, as it stands, this thing is so simple. We don't really need to DDD it. But uh, for the sake of demonstration, uh, we're doing all these. Okay, so uh, test get users. So what we can do is that we can map out our database as a data service. Okay, so it's a service wherein you make a request. And you get something in return. After a database server, data service makes sense, right? So um, we will create what we call a data service class. We will mock it. It will become a mock data service class. What we want to do here is that we want to have a method get users for that uh, data service, which would mm, probably you know perform a select query against MySQL or some database, or probably even get all a list of users from an XML file. Who cares? And then uh, all we need to care about is that we, we call the get users method. It gives us an array of users. Okay, sounds simple. So um, I think we will need to inject a new dependent. All right. So here in setup, we will, let's say, create a mock generate data service. Ignore, we haven't created a data service class yet. Okay. So then var db. Then of course we have to create our DB before we create a reminder. New mock data service. And again we inject this into our reminder. Okay, so this is the benefit of having a setup method. Your setup method insulates your classes from any changes you make to your code reminder constructor. Okay, all you all you got to do is that you just receive it from the instantiated instance of quota reminder. Okay, so quota reminder would have to require a data service class. Data service PHP. 
Okay, and we create a simple data service class. Just enough to get this thing to compile. Data service. Don't even put a method yet. We will do that later when we run the test. Okay, so put a reminder. Aha, we changed this one, right? To db to use. Okay, so let's uh, make it simple. Var db. This db equals ampersand db to use. Okay, so see if our test runs. Okay, it still runs, meaning everything is supposed to compile. Okay, we actually do our uh, test get users now. Okay, so with test get users, we will not be interacting with the mailer, we'll be interacting with the database. The, this DB, right? And then we say that if the DB okay, method is called, we are to set a return value. Okay, so let's say we have a get users method for our db get users and then it's going to return to us uh, five fake users you know so sounds simple huh okay so when the get users method is called it will return to us five fake users and we set up an expectation that the five the get users method should actually actually be called get users. Now, what if you don't have a parameter here? You have a parameter, right? Like this email address. Well, that's so. We just use blank array, meaning that get users has no parameter. Okay, we have to implement this five fake users method here. Okay, so function five fake users, which will return an array to us. Okay, so let's say R, how imaginative, return dollar R. Okay, and then we populate it with five users. Dollar R equals, uh, let's just get these guys here. Oh, okay, delete that. Okay, so we create, oh. Yeah, okay, there you go, okay. Then let's copy all the others. Uh, it's a boring work, well, but it has to be done. At least we're only testing five users, we're not testing 100. We don't have to type 100 users. Okay, so that equals, okay, let's get Jerry. And we'll have to invent two more users. Oh my, I really hate to see mock data. But somebody has to do the dirty job. Let's just create user Jack. Okay, say Jack is to be uh, Jack from. Then finally, this create user. Let's say another user. Oops, correct. Create user. And it's not supposed to be not. Correct. Okay. Now what we do, okay, we just set up expectations here, but we didn't actually call them. Okay, what we will do is that we will get a reminder, oh, okay, keeping a convention, we put here, reminder, this reminder, okay. So now we call a reminder, okay, and we expect a user list to be returned to us. Okay, so tell reminder, get a user list. Okay, and then we expect get user list to actually interact with the database called the get users method of the data service and return five fake users. So we make sure that we actually get five users. So equal to five count user this. Okay. So let's run our test. 